Hey everyone, I'm in Farming Simulator 22 and I'm going to show you how to pick up bales. So one option is to be a walk on along and then you go here. Okay, if you go right up close to said bale, you will get an option here that um, allows you to pick up the object, which is B. And then you can be like the Hulk and go rah, and then walk it over to where you want it and dump it like B again. Now that is not very efficient, my friends. So that is the better way, which is what I'm gonna show you here, but it costs some money, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go and hire a sort of special machine to pick these up. So I'm hitting the uh, sort of screens button on my Xbox controller, and that will take me off to where I can buy stuff or hire stuff, and I need a tool. And what I'm looking for is a bale loader. Okay, so this is the bale loader here. And there are all sorts of different ones for different shapes and there's trailers and all sorts of stuff here. But a rather cool one is this one here. Uh, this, uh, you've also got to bear in mind what sort of shape bales you've got because I've got these rectangular ones, so I want this one here. Um, so this is for this specific shape of bale. You can see there's a little picture of a, a bale there. This one can hold round bales and rectangular bales, but this is what I want, one of these. Um, so I hit the details and it says 14 bales, three tons, blah, blah, blah. And I'm gonna lease it because the total price of this is 64,000, which for picking up some bales sounds like a lot of money. So I'm gonna lease it. So I hit the lease, it's gonna cost me 3,264. Yeah, pick it up from the shop. Let's go for a drive, my friends. Let's go get my magic thing. I can't even remember what it was called. What was it, a bale loader or something? So, are you playing Farming Simulator 22 at the minute? I guess so, because you're looking at bales. Now this sort of was an area that confused me in the game is how to bale stuff up. If you weren't sure on that, my previous video showed how to make them their straw bales. So if you're not sure about that, go and have a little look at the rest of my channel. Um, I also show how to harvest the wheat and lots of other things. So as you get confused in the game, hit me up in the comments on my channel or on this video, and I will try to help you with future ones. My mission is to try and cover as much of this game as I can and help explain some of the many confusing things about how to play this rather beautiful but rather confusing game. The help system in this game is woefully inadequate. You know, I know you can do so much in this game, um, but then I suppose that's kind of good for me. I get to tell you about it as I learn it. I share the information with you and in return you say, oh, thanks, man. And if you could do that in the comments, that would be much appreciated. So let me know what you're confused about in the comments. Give us a thumbs up. That's good. If you want to be kept up to date with all my stuff, hit that subscribe button. That would be cool as well. Much appreciated. Anyway, there is my special machine that we just leased. All right. So we take my tractor. Then you've got to reverse and attach it like so. And then drive away we go. Okay. Look at this. Now this baby will sort of suck up. 14 bales for us and then you could go and store it in a barn but what I'm going to show you is where you can sell said bales as a little extra bonus at the end of this video I will show you that as well we will drive off and make some money with our bales now bales are not going to make you <coughs> excuse me that rich they are indeed worth about I think it was about 80 80 bucks or whatever you've got your currency set to um, per bale so you know you're gonna get a little bit of money from them but it's certainly not gonna make you rich but hey it's better than throwing it away and plowing it back into the field you can also use the straw for other things like your animals if you start having animals on your farm um, so you can use it there as well right we are nearly back now a little tip for this is if you can while you're harvesting the field try and do straight lines as you are uh, making your bales and that makes picking them up a bit easier um, you'll see how this works though in just a second. So I've got a couple of bales there. So we will stop here and I'll show you how this works. So we hold down LB to access this and we'll say we need the operating position. So we hit X. Look at that man. And we're good. We're good. So now we just go forwards and you've got to aim that bit around your bale and we'll check this out. Yeah. How cool is that? And then we do the same here. Let me zoom in so you can see the little track. Look at that, man. How cool is that? That's what I love about this game. You just start seeing these crazy things. And you think, that is wicked. That was well worth hiring just to see it do that. It's far more exciting than seeing my farmer do pick it up, doesn't it? Even though he looked rock hard picking it up. So you just sort of got to drive along. Pick a, <coughs> excuse me, a camera angle um, that works well for sort of getting in line. But you can see if they're sporadically spaced out, that makes it a bit more of a, a problem. Um, but, you know, we can sort of 
sort of do all right. It's fairly, fairly happy to, oh, flicked it up there. That, that bit of a trick shot there. Look at that. Birdie there. So, uh, sort of down by the speedo, you can see how much capacity we've got in this machine at the minute. So we're up to eight bales. Oh, he's, he's flying, flying. So you see, it's a fairly fun uh, and relatively easy to do. I think you can do it. I oh, know, don't, don't like it if you go like 30 miles an hour with a bale. It's steady, steady, not quite that quick. Oh, it gets grumpy. So we're up to 12, I think. Is that 12? No, that was 11. I thought that one hadn't counted that it collected. So we are nearly full. Look at this. Exciting, nearly full. Okay, and then we'll come back here and get this last one. And then obviously at this point you're like, but man, I'm out of storage. So you could go and stick them in a barn or you could sell them. So what if we wanted to sell them? What do we do? Well, let's move this to the transporting position. We don't really want to try and pick up a car with our baler, do we? So our baling collector or whatever it is. Um, and then at this point, we need to think, well, we've got to sell them to somewhere. So where do we sell them? Well, to do this, if you hit your menu button on your controller, sometimes it'll, all, it'll do a save as we come into this area. And then this screen here, the prices, what you want to look for is if you go down, this is straw that we've got and there's two options animal dealer or south valley biomass energy animal dealer is the best here so we'll show that here and if we have a little look taken here on our map this is what we where we've got to drive to dump these off and that's what i'm going to do here just to finish up this video so we're going to go there look we get the big old super duper laser guided sort of system there wouldn't that be great in real life if you sat and did that or your gps man is that what you call it in America? We call it sat now in, in, in England. In, I don't know what accent that was. Am I in England? Yes. In England, it is a sat nav. I think, ma'am, it's more like GPS in America. Is that right? I don't know. Sorry, Americans. I know that was a terrible accent. Terrible. I love you guys. Love you guys, man. I love lots of guys. Do you know what I love about YouTube is the amount of different countries that sees this stuff. I see Australia. Australia picks up my stuff. Stiff Africa sometimes picks up my stuff a little bit. <laughs> and that's it for my accents. I can do a few more, but not many. But I love you all, man. I love you guys. Say hello. If you're in a different country, say hello. If you're in England, say hello. I don't really care. Hit me up with some random stuff in the comments. That would be cool. Anyway, we got our little trailer. It's full of all the hay. Is it hay or is it straw? This is straw. Straw, man. Uh, and then we're going to go there. Um, if you want, you can do, uh, what is it called? LBRB, and then press B, and you can toggle cruise control. Hey, hey, hey! Talk about impatience. Can you believe the cheek of some people? I've never seen anyone try and take out a tractor like that. Yeah, so LBRB plus B equals the cruise control, which is quite handy. Now I don't have to really press anything. Um, I could have set a, a worker to transport this over here, but what would the fun of that be? You know, so we do this here. And then if you want to turn off your cruise control, you just hit LT to D, decelerate, D, decelerate. There we go. Boom. And then we just got a poodle in here like this. And you've got to get it to a position where it can unload nicely. And this one's a bit weird because it doesn't give you any hint. But once you're in that sort of in the magic zone, you hit LB and you get this option to say unload bales. So you hit Y. Oh ho ho. And here you go. Watch the money, top right. Are you ready? Check how much we're going to get. So here it says, what do you want to do? I'm uh, still holding down LB and then I hit Y to unload the bales. I'm rich, man. I made 1327 for my bales. That's why I didn't hire this. They'll buy this thing for so much money because you don't make that much money from it. Anyway, when you're ready to come out of here, hold down LB again and hit operating position. Operating position. It's in position for the operating. And it's still not right. So we'll just drive forward a bit. Why does it not come back up? Let's press X again. Oh, no. 
transport position press x again there we're not going to take out the cars that is it my friends that is how you pick up lots of bales and take them away and sell them now thumbs up please much appreciated any comments very welcome did i miss anything probably if i did let me know if it's worth another video i might do you another video as a little thank you for pointing it out um if you like this little sort of stuff have a little look at the rest of my channel if you like what you see please subscribe and that'll keep you up to date with all my late stuff thanks so much for watching